right so today we're going to learn about understanding the voltage divider circuit voltage divider circuit is a circuit that consists of two resistors connected in series now the output voltage of the circuit is taken across the lower resistor the output voltage is a fraction of the input voltage and the fraction is determined by the ratio of the two resistors connected in series now the voltage divider formula is as follows say so v out is equals to v in multiplied by the second resistor that is the lower resistor divided by the two resistors addition of the two resistors so where we have the v out is the output voltage v in is the input voltage and then r1 is the resistance of the top resistor and r2 is the resistance of the bottom resistor now you'll be wondering how come that formula came about so now let us look at the derivation of the formula let us consider a circuit like this having two resistors connected in series we have the first resistor which is r1 and then we have r2 okay then there is a voltage entering into the resistors that are connected into series from the top of the resistor and this voltage is regarded as V in that is the entering voltage it has its polarities and we want to see the output voltage across the lower resistor which is R2 and this output voltage is regarded as VO which is V in so we can see the circuit we can see that across r1 we can see across r1 we have um, a current flowing which is regarded as i1 and then across r2 there is current flowing which is i2 right now if we observe the circuit clearly we can see this formula that i1 that is the first current entering is equals to i2 because the current is flowing through the resistors connected in series is the same right so that is i1 is equals to i2 also if we look at ohm's law we see that v is equals to ir so therefore we can say the entering voltage that is v in is equals to i multiplied by these two resistors r1 plus r2 right then arranging to solve for i we have i is equals to that is the current entering is equals to v in multiplied by one over or we can easily say v in divided by because we know i is equals to v divided by r the voltage divided by the r connected in series that is the addition of the two r's now that we have solved for i and of in terms of v in and for both resistors next we can write the expression for v out using ohm's law so we can say v out is equals to i r2 because we are trying to find the voltage across r2 and that is equals to now uh, if we can substitute the value of i which is i is equals to v in multiplied by one upon r1 plus r2 if we substitute into that equation we end up having v out equals to v in multiplied by r1 upon r1 plus r2 multiplied by r2 so that's how we get the formula for our voltage divider next how can we use voltage divider now so to use the voltage divider circuit you follow the following steps or you take up the following steps first you determine the input voltage that is v in and the desired output voltage that means the voltage that is entering you determine it and also what voltage you want to receive at the output after that you calculate the resistance values needed for the resistor the, the resistors in the circuit using the voltage divider formula v out is equals to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 multiplied by v in then choose the resistor values based on the required resistance 
and the available resistor values. It is often best to use standard resistor values to make the calculation and selection process easier. Connect the input voltage source to the circuit. The positive terminal of the voltage source should be connected to one end of the resistor R1 and the negative terminal should be connected to the other end of the resistor R2. Connect the other end of the resistor R1 to the other end of the resistor R2. This creates a voltage divider circuit. Now connect the load, that is the device or the circuit that will be powered by the voltage divider to the circuit. The positive terminal of the load should be connected to the other end of the resistor of which is R R2 and the negative terminal should be connected to the negative terminal of the voltage source. Measure the output voltage across the load using multimeter. This will allow you to verify that the voltage divider is functioning properly and providing the desired output voltage. If necessary, adjust the resistance values of the resistors in the circuit to fine-tune the output voltage. Use the voltage divider to power the load as needed. Disconnect the voltage divider circuit when it is no longer needed. If you are using a potentiometer that is variable resistor in the voltage divider circuit, you can adjust the resistance of the potentiometer to fine tune the output voltage as needed. Next, to move, move on to the demonstration. And for the demonstration process, I'll take you to a software called Proteus 8 Professional. Now here is potential. Now here is Proteus 8 Professional. We have our resistor, we have our voltage source. Now let us say here is our voltage source. And we want our resistors can change, okay. We want one like this and the other one like this. Connect this. Then we go to this place called virtual instrument mode. Go to DC voltmeter so that we can check the voltage across R2. Connect. Connect. Right? Then let us look at an example. So here is an example. For example, if the input voltage is 10 voltage, the resistance of the top resistor, that is R1, is 1K, and the resistance of the bottom resistor, which is R2, is 2K, then the output voltage can be measured. This is the, me the calculated version of which we get 6.6. 6.67 voltage so we are going to check r1 is 1k r2 is 2k and the voltage is 10 voltage now let us connect that in purchase 8 okay here is purchase 8 let us get this one we get 10 voltage now let me label it as v in v in Okay, here's our V in, and this is R1 and R2. According to here, this is 1K. And this one is 2K. So, if we run the circuit, we can see the voltage that is across R2. Run. It really matches our calculated voltage, which is 6.67 voltage. So that is the voltage across here. Now we move on to the application. Where can you apply this um, voltage divider? The first application is that it is used for reducing voltage. That is, voltage divider can be used to reduce the magnitude of a voltage for use in a circuit. For example, if you have a 12 voltage, 
power supply and needed to use it to power a circuit that can only handle 5 voltage, you can use a voltage divider to reduce the 12 voltage to 5 voltage. Now let us calculate this down. Our desired output is 5 voltage which is VO5 and our V in is 12 voltage according to the formula of VO equals to V in multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Right? We don't know the value of which the resistors that we can manipulate and in this case I want us to take to manipulate R1 so that we can easily see how we can demonstrate this particular example. So if we go to calculation process, we can see that um, we expand the equation and then further expand it and later arrive at this where R1 will be equals to 7 R2 divided by 5 which is equals to 1.4 R2. Meaning if we have the value of R2, then 1.4 times the, that value will give you R1. So let us demonstrate that. Here is 12 voltage. And we have here R1, which is this. And then R2 is here. And we want 5 voltage here. Meaning if we are to find the 5 voltage here, we need to take to find the value of R1 we have to multiply 1.4 okay here is our calculator the value of R is 2k 2k multiplied by 1.4 will give you 2.8 meaning our R1 value is supposed to be 2.4 no 2.8 sorry 2.8 value okay okay now we we'll run and see what will be the output exactly 5 voltage we get here so this is how you use it then you can run this line to the circuit that needs to be powered by 5 voltage so another one is to create a reference voltage Another one is measuring a voltage. That is, voltage divider can be used to measure the voltage of a circuit by using voltage across the resistor, uh, resistors in the voltage divider. And you can calculate the voltage of the circuit. Another one is adjusting the gain of the amplifier. Voltage divider can be used to adjust the gain of an amplifier by changing the resistance value of the resistors in the voltage divider. It can also be used to control the brightness of an LED. All right. So let us look at the last demonstration. All right. So let us get rid of this one. And then we'll put our potentiometer. Put it this way. Connect this to the top. Connect this here. Connect this here. Connect this here. It's 1K, we give it as 10K. And then this one is 2K. Now, if we power this thing up, look at the voltage here. The lower we go, we can see the voltage is increasing up to 12 because when this one goes to zero, the only resistor will be 2K and the voltage across 2K will is 12. It's the same voltage across. The input voltage is the same as this one. So if we increase this to the maximum, the voltage here will be fraction of the input voltage, all right? But what if we we'll put potentiometer here? Because if you take this one up to zero, you get a high voltage here. But if you increase it to the 100%, that means this is at maximum. We have two 
here to voltage so what if we put the potentiometer here if we put the potentiometer here and we take it to zero what will happen let us see that okay let's get rid of this one connect our potentiometer here connect this here connect the voltage to this and this one is connected here all right so now the same 10 10k and let's give this one is 2.8k let's still have that one if we click on run we have here at 54 percent we have seven point seven point nine zero now if we take it to the max So we can see the maximum of this one we get 9.3 fraction of this uh, the input voltage is what we've got here now if we take it to zero what will happen let us reduce it to zero at zero percent what we get we get zero voltage across how you may be wondering how come when it was here when you take it to zero percent it was still having some voltage and the voltage was the same voltage here when you take this one to zero what about if you take this one because according to the formula here is the formula so if i2 is equals to zero what will happen this whole term will be zero multiplied by this term will also be zero okay so that is the reason when we take the potentiometer to zero percent then the output voltage will be zero so thank you for watching this video if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet also share this video to others that it will be helpful to thank you until see you again in the next coming video tata for now